So everyone, welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege lore video. I'd just like to quickly say thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving these lore videos. It seems that you guys are enjoying them just as much as I'm enjoying making them. So definitely subscribe as there is so much more to come as the story of Rainbow Six Siege is still ever evolving in this live service game. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the question, where is Capitao? You guys might not know this, but Capitao is currently the only operator in the lore right now who is completely unaccounted for. And what I mean by this is, when taking Taking a look at Harry's board, we can see the name of every operator and which squad they are in. So we can see Nighthaven squad, Ghost Eyes, Wolf Guard, and the two upcoming squads we have yet to learn. But despite not having all the information about them, we still do know which operators are in each squad. Now there's actually four operators' names missing on this board. Three of them are Sense, Grim, and Solace, and that's because this board image came out months before they were all announced, with Azami being the current operator at the time. And even on this board, it doesn't even have her final name yet. It still has one of her work in progress names, Flubber. So yeah, that makes sense. That explains explains why those three operators names aren't here, but Capitao's name isn't here as well. And we can't use that same logic for that, because obviously Capitao has been in the game since year one. Now one of the first thoughts I had was maybe he retired, he is aging quite a bit, maybe he thought his time fighting was up and he decided to live a quiet rest of his life. But I don't really think Ubisoft are going to go down that route, I also kind of feel like they are trying to kind of remove the aspect of operators aging, purely because if the game lasts another 10 or 20 years for example, I know that's you know quite far fetched, but if it does, you know a lot of operators would be kind of too old to fight. But I don't think Ubisoft want to back themselves into a corner where like one day maybe half the operators in the games are too old to even work. So yes, time does pass in the lore, but I think you kind of just have to overlook the fact that operators age in this game because although time passes, it is a live service developing story and there isn't an end in sight. So yeah, the whole aging and retiring thing is too complicated of a storyline to go along. That is not what they are doing. But continuing to read the rest of Harry's board, which is massive, we can actually theorize and figure out where Capital is thanks to a few clues. Firstly, on the board it says that there is a spike in international crime activity. And following the wire on this board, we actually get led to a little article which says the growing threat of illegal trafficking. And to the left of this, we can see that it is connecting to a map, more specifically Colombia, where Solace is from. But we can also see that there is plenty of lines going in and from Brazil, which is not only the largest South American country, but also the home to none other than Capital. And following this wire once again, again, we get led to another article which says growing police readiness in South America in wake of released satellite images. And to the right of this, we see some images which look strikingly similar to some images shown in Operation Skull Rain, which was the season Capital and Caveira were added. So if you have this growing threat in South America of all this trafficking and all of these issues, and the police need to be ready and obviously trained, then who better to train the police force of the largest South American country than Capital? He is extremely experienced. Experienced. We also know that Harry does trust him. He was also one of the team captains in SI 2021. And so since this conflict is happening in South America, it makes so much more sense for Capital to go focus on that. And this is definitely going to lead to something they didn't forget to put Capital on the list. Ubisoft have been pretty on the ball when it comes to lore ever since they started properly focusing on it ever since Shifting Tides. And not placing Capital on a squad and rather sending him to Brazil to possibly train people, I don't think he's went to Brazil undercover to then, you know, go on stealth missions and you know, take down this trafficking ring. I definitely think he's there to be a mentor and teacher. And who knows, maybe they will be setting us up for a brand new operator in year eight or year nine, who'll actually be one of the students that Capital trained over his past few years of absence. So do I think Capital has retired? Do I think he's been kicked off Team Rainbow? No, I definitely think Capitao has been given some greater duty by Harry or maybe even the Brazilian government asked for his return, but 100% look for Capitao being one of the major players in the lore in the upcoming seasons because it's definitely building up to something and I cannot wait to see where it goes. So guys, be sure to let me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think happened to Capitao? Do you think my theory is plausible? Do you think he is actually in Brazil training students to become the next generation of, you know, Hitman Caveira? I'm really interested to hear everyone's thoughts, so please drop me a comment. Let me in your thoughts drop a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new it helps incredibly and it's free be sure to check out my other lore videos and have an incredible rest of your day i love you all stay safe peace